Hi Aries, this is your reading for the month of August 2018. Pulling from the Angels Romance and the sorry, Romance Angels and the Goddess Guidance deck towards the end of the video. Be sure to check your moon, rising, and Venus. If these messages don't resonate with you all the way, you can also fast forward past the shuffling section if you'd like to. Other messages for Aries. Oops. The month of August 2018. Messages for Aries. August Okay, bottom of the deck you have strength. Some of you need to, some of you are going to need strength in this month. But I don't feel like it's in that kind of like, I don't feel like it's because something bad's going to happen. I feel like it's like a continuation from July, but like, it's a strength where you kind of you kind of get in what's going on in the situation and it's like now you can be strong now like you see you see what's going on and you made a decision this is what I'm gonna do and it's like it's kind of easy to be strong at this time rather than having to like deal with a brand new breakup and having to force yourself to be strong. It's like you like have this natural strength this time. It's like you have this natural strength through this month. So what you may be wanting from a situation is not exactly fast movement, but movement. So sorry about that car in the background. Some of you are wanting faster movement, but not like, it's like things have been kind of stuck and now you just want something to start moving, whether it be with someone old or someone new. However, what you need to do is either value the person more or to value yourself more. So you want in this you want in this person to kind of end their behavior and start moving forward like end the the ego trip the pride and start moving towards you but what you need to do is kind of control the situation outwardly meaning 
putting value on yourself and for some of you valuing the person if if you feel like this person is treating you right and maybe even using the law of attraction meaning letting go of this person which is probably where you have strength so letting go of, having the strength to let go of this person if you're wanting them to come back right and how you how you're seeing them is like this you see that you see that they can that coming back if they come back you'll be happier if they were to send you like you know messages more honest more romantic more open like you feel like that you want them to be more open and that that will bring you happiness or at least you know make you feel better about the situation okay so you're dealing with an, a, also an aries right and this person wants this person wants to be viewed by you as somebody dominant like they want you to they kind of want you to respect them more or like be a little bit submissive for some of you this person may be a little bit controlling and they kind of want you to submit to that but you are like no i'm a queen or i'm a king i'm not gonna be that however this is what this person wants but what this person needs is to chill <laughs> this person needs to go within and fix whatever is causing them to be controlling or to want power over you. And they can see that, you, they can see, I hear a puppy barking, sorry. <laughs> they can see that you are in this hermit mode. They see that you're withholding, that you're holding back, that you're not giving them what they want. And as you know, they want that control, but you're not giving it to them, which is completely up to you. Maybe that's the strength that you're going to be feeling. Like finally putting your foot down. Finally putting your foot down. And um, saying you want what you want before, you, before you're going to give them what they want. Oops. Okay. Oops. Sorry. All right. So yeah, they see that you, they see that you put your foot down. They can see that, and that's what's bothering them because they wanted you to do what they wanted you to do, and it's just not happy. They're not happy about that. They, they haven't, um, they haven't learned to deal with being left out in the cold. They haven't learned to deal with being rejected or not getting what they want. And so that's why that's why they need to kind of look within themselves and learn that because it's like they're doing it to you but they don't know how to handle it themselves and you are teaching them that lesson for some of you. It could be vice versa, but that's what I'm seeing. This is someone who is just coming in and out. They're constantly in and out of your life. For some of you, they're in and out for sexual reasons. And it's like you're seeing past that. And you're putting your foot down, you're like, no, I want more than this. Or else I'm moving on, basically. And so they're not happy about that because they really thought they had you wrapped around the finger, but now you have the strength in August to say no. And if they want, if they want to get past that, if they want to get past the, the wall you've put up, they have to give you what you want. I mean, that's what you, that's the reason why you put your foot down. So they need to give you what you want or else you're not going to, cooperate you're not going to compromise i wouldn't advise you to, co to compromise because they will keep 
they will keep going in and out of your life without a care in the world. If if you dare let your guard down or let them back in too easy, they will just continue to take advantage. Okay? This is most likely a fire sign or maybe they have fire in their chart. Okay, so that the the outcome, the eight of pentacles. The outcome is that the hard work that you put in to not not submit into them it's going to pay off for you also it's like the hard work that you're putting into yourself during this time during this time while they've left you or they're acting weird or trying to manipulate you or emotionally abuse you you're putting into you're putting the work into yourself and you're kind of teaching yourself to to live without them or to move on. And they, it's like a taste of their own medicine. They can't take it. It may change them. It may not. So for some of you, this person will change because of you putting your foot down or they may just give up. Yeah. So the withhold the them withholding their feelings it may change due to you putting your foot down and also the sad times the times where you were constantly left by this person or even if it's the first time they've left you out or they've cut off contact or they're acting weird in a way to try and get you to notice these things are coming to an end thanks to the work you've put into yourself and you putting your foot down in this situation and you've become more of value to them in the outcome so later on in august towards the end of august they'll start to see your value the withholding of the emotions will they'll probably open up and your 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 nine of swords moments being the the card with the the man you know with the swords in his back on the floor you feeling depressed you feeling you know hurt will come to an end because of you working on yourself on your own life having the strength to focus on yourself and take your mind off of them it will pay off i feel in this situation for a lot of you So, let me see what's going on. What advice you have? Those of you who know about manifestation, I see that whatever it is you're trying to manifest in this situation is coming. You just have to hang in there with the strength card you just have to hang in there and just know that it's going to come to fruition even if you're dealing with someone who you don't want back in your life maybe they're a narcissist or you know one of those horrible people who just won't change who you, you, you believe that they won't change you may be trying to manifest someone new and that could also be coming coming in for you okay like i said new love those of you trying to manifest someone new that's coming too that could also be the hard work and the strength that you've had to put in because you know when you need <clears throat> you know when you want someone new you have to close that door from the past before someone new can come in so and it can be hard to close that door without having someone new to take your mind off that person so that's where your strength comes in for those of you who want the new love. The honeymoon is those of you who want the person to come back. You, If you've manifested them back or you've been just been focus on, focusing on yourself and you've let go, then that is coming back and the passion will still be there. However, the behavior will change because that is what you wanted. And so you'll be getting what you want. 
because you've put the work in physically, mentally, spiritually, you've put the work in. Let's see. What else you have as advice? Rhythms and cycles, sorry. Blossoming, you are just getting started. <clears throat> so have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. Those of you who are trying to manifest cycles, honor the cycles of your body, energy levels and emotions. Right? Easy does it. There's no need to hurry or face things. Sorry, force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Like I said, letting go and having patience. Whether you want someone new or someone... Or this person who has been an a-hole. And just coming in and out of your life. They're either, they're either going to change. If that's what you really, you're really trying to manifest. Or someone new is coming. If that's what you want. It's like whatever you want. There is being value put onto you. You have to put value onto what you want. You have to see what you want as as something you can get and something that is important to you. Don't feel like you don't deserve love or you don't deserve. Even if this person's making you feel like you don't deserve something, you have to ignore that and understand that you deserve anything you want, everything. So, there's two cards here that mean patience, and I'm seeing the end of August being a good time for you guys. So, and as I said before, Aries, one of our traits is impatience. So the end of August can seem like 10 years from now, but it's, it's going to be worth it. Whatever it is you want to manifest, I would start now if you haven't started already. And then let go and let it come. So be patient. And honor the cycles, meaning if this is the end of something and you want to manifest something new, you have to understand that the end has to be put to an end. It has to be... It has The death card has to happen. It has to... You have to let go of it if you want something new. Because, you know... This this ex could be blocking you. These these tied emotions to your ex could be blocking you from something, someone better who isn't gonna come in and out of your life like that. So, another truck is coming. Oh, it's not coming. Okay. Um. So yeah. Don't let an ex block you if you want new love. And if you want the ex back. Don't let them in too easily you have to give them a taste of their own medicine that's what i'm seeing clearly in this reading it's like definitely a follow-up from july so aries that was your reading hope you enjoyed and remember to check your moon venus and rising like comment and subscribe let me know the updates if this is an update for from july for you if it resonates and thank you for all your kind words and everything. I appreciate all of that. And thank you for watching.